In the previous lesson, we looked at what I would call my hybrid Ansel Adams effect because the image we were using didn't really lend itself as much to that effect all by itself. Now, that's cool. In this lesson, we're going to look at this image right here. Incidentally, both of those images are from photospin.com. Double click and open up Pretty Lady here. Let's go ahead and make her a little bit bigger by double clicking on the hand tool. Let's close that for a second. What I want to do is create a very soft kind of focus image on her in grayscale. And to do that, we're partially going to use, believe it or not, the Ansel Adams effect. So starting with background here, I'm going to click this button right here, which of course is channel mixer. You can come down here if you want to and click that button. Select monochrome and go through the Ansel Adams effect. Select 160 for our reds, 140 for our greens, and negative 200 for our blues. That looks pretty intense right now, but that's fine. What we need to do next is fill the mask for the channel mixer with 100% black. I already have it over here. To fill that mask, which is selected with 100% black, if it is your foreground color, simply reach over and press the Alt key and the Backspace key. Now, what we've done is essentially eliminate the effect because we've said black means don't use it. So, why am I doing this? Because we have in CS6 a way to reduce the density right here. Click Masks if you're not there, and there's density. If I move that down, well, if I go all the way to zero, for example, we're back to where we were. I want you to take that to about 50%, right there. What we've done is we've said to the computer, apply one half of the Ansel Adams effect to the image. Now we'll create the second adjustment layer, black and white, right here if you're doing it from there. So she goes grayscale on me, which is great, but we need to adjust a few things. Like, for example, we need to play around with our reds. And if we click on reds and go this way, as you can see, it will impact the image. Let's go down to about, well, let's see what we got here. Let's take it down to about 25 or somewhere around that general area for now. And on yellows, we need to go down to this way. And let's go to about a negative, oh, 30 or 40 or something like that. And don't forget, if you want to, you can add a tint to this. What we have here, depending on how you manipulate your reds, your yellows, your greens, is an image that has been converted into grayscale using, believe it or not, 50% of an Ansel Adams effect and a black and white adjustment. And the effect to me is like a soft image in grayscale. All you have to do to change it is change these options right in here. So using an adjustment layer mask with density, reducing overall the effect by 50%, then adding a black and white adjustment layer on top of that. If we turn this one off, we're back to that. If we turn this one off, it's completely different. You need both of them to make the effect work. On to the next.